I had a friend, we used to pray together. We used to pray together. So after church, we finish church, then we'll now go somewhere and talk two hours of tongues. Finish church, we'll go somewhere, three hours of tongues. Finish church, we'll go somewhere, two hours of tongues. And I was praying this prayer because I wanted direction. I don't know why he was praying, but I wanted direction. I was in that prayer one of those days when an angel from heaven appeared to me and gave me direction from heaven. Hello guys, welcome to Spirit and Life Media. You are about to listen to a story shared by Apostle Aaron Mosai. Alright, this story is very, very powerful. At the end of this video, one of the things I can guarantee you is you are going to probably start asking God for direction. Alright, you might be at the point in your life where nothing is working and everything seems to be stagnant. I can assure you this video is going to address that. So I want you to like this video, subscribe to our channel and stay to the end. You have a whole lot of lessons in store for you from this video. Alright, so let's dive into the video right now. If there's a loose end and demons hold sway in your life, in any aspect of your life, it's a proof of the fact that there are aspects of your life that are not completely surrendered to the authority of Jesus. And that's why demons have been able to find a platform of oppression in your space. Because everything is expected to be under his authority in the arrangement of the new covenant. If you are still with me, say Amen. Like I said, one of the benefits of the headship is that we are not responsible for the consequences of actions that we carry out under the influence and the promptings of the Spirit of God. Now, we are running a ministry now. If by any means we are led by God to set up a crusade at the international market and witches come against us. The person that has the responsibility to discomfit the authority of the witches is the one that sent us. So every Christian is supposed to be operating from a covered position. Christ being our head and his administration being our life source. In fact, when Satan now came to collect Moses' body, they had sent Michael from heaven to come collect the same body. And the reason why God was interested in hiding Moses' body was because Moses was a manifestation. Moses was submitted so absolutely to the will of God. It was only a few times that Moses did his own will. And one of those times was the reason why he was disqualified from entering into the promised land. But Moses was sold out to manifesting the will of God. That if Moses does something, Israel would think it's God that did it because of his yieldedness. So when Moses decided to do something, and it was not God that led him to do it, God had to judge Moses because he wanted the children of Israel to know that it was not him that was responsible for that action. That was how sublime Moses was in the hands of God. Are you with me? So if Satan had possessed Moses' body and had come out, just like because God used to use him to give directives to the children of Israel, and had come out in that body, and he said, all of you, fornication now is approved. It was going to <laughs> you know, you know, it was going to risk everything that God has built. So God had to send Angel Michael to come conduct a secret burial for Moses. Moses was that man that angels had to steal his body. But unfortunately for Michael, before he could access the body, Lucifer was already present at the location. And you know. Are you there? You are there? Okay. So Lucifer was an authority. In terms of ranking, he was a valid authority and his new station, the legitimacy he had acquired from the authority that he usurped, gave him rights to the earth. You know, Adam's authority was aquatic, was terrestrial and atmospheric. I've, I've showed you before. And that's why we have, there's an aspect of demonic activity that operates from the water. Oh, you know, yeah. Because you did not respond, we will cut it. You know, there's an aspect of demonic authority that operates from the water. Because Adam's original jurisdiction covers the water. They are spirits. Spirits that operate from the water, they are spirits that operate, terrestrial spirits. Some operate from the forest, there is a way they are. Many of you have seen people that they brought here with Azor spirit. That's a spirit that is in the forest, that's the forest spirit. It has a cry that is like a cry of an animal. You know what I'm talking about. Don't look at me like that. You know. 
we also have spirits that their abode is the graveyard those are the spirits that very good wizards use for necromancy and if sorcery comes into the third dimension and they need to bend some spiritual rules to create favor for somebody sorcerers will ask the person to go to the graveyard so that they can commune with the terrestrial spirits that operate from that place are you there all of these territories from whence the spirits operate are territories that are under the adamic realm of dominion so by legitimacy lucifer had the right to stop michael from taking moses' body because the body was in his territory i'm still talking about two headships two headships that are legitimate god sent michael michael came into a territory discovered that lucifer has taken over that territory and he's the lord of the zanga according to rank lucifer was higher than him in rank even as an angel and even much higher because he's using adamic power so according to rank he was no match so what did he do in order for him to win the day he invoked the authority of the headship under which he was dispatched to come retrieve the body how did he do it he said the law <laughs> i had a friend we used to pray together we used to pray together so after church we finish church then we'll now go somewhere and talk two hours of tongues finish church we'll go somewhere three hours of tongues finish church we'll go somewhere two hours of tongues and i was praying this prayer because i wanted direction i don't know why he was praying but i wanted direction I was in that prayer one of those days when an angel from heaven appeared to me and gave me direction from heaven so i now told him that my own prayer has ended because i have direction he also ended his prayer without direction it was 10 years later that i actually discovered he did not get anything oh my god may you get direction from god in the name of jesus christ The direction that came for me was that I was not going into full-time ministry yet. That God was going to make available for me a job. He will grow me on that job until I become an apostle. Meanwhile, a lot of my friends went straight into full-time ministry without direction. So the path I took, getting a job looked like a waste of time. But that waste of time was with direction. 20 years later when we came back the man that wasted time was a man that was in time the one that was hurrying he realized after 20 years that he had no direction and you know it's humbling because you are not likely to go back after 20 years to seek direction your pride will not allow you you feel that ah, I, I'm, 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 I, I, i've been around <laughs> hey go back and seek direction it took me one year but the insight that I got after one year is what has powered my life to this point. The Bible says that by him does everything consist. The meaning of your life is not in your life. The meaning of your life is in him. <coughs> Wisdom demands that you need to consult him to find out what the meaning of your life is about. Because the design in the eternal purpose that God set in motion before the foundations of the earth is that he should be preeminent everybody will seek him will consult him who everyone will wait on him that's how it was designed if you have another wisdom that is better than the wisdom of god we will see it in your life whether or not you found this personality that the bible calls the preeminent will be revealed in your life in a, in a short while i hope you know angel michael is the angel that is a war angel in fact the name michael means strength a few people in the chronicles of a few prophets and the michael has appeared to a few prophets before and i've read their chronicles one of those prophets that michael appeared to was apostle joseph ayo babalola of cs and he said when he saw michael michael did not put his feet on the ground because he was carrying so much energy he was not sure if the ground could hold michael so michael was all suspended it was michael that gave him what he gave him that he, he too, during praise and worship, he began to solve pain. Are 
Are you saying with me? He didn't, he didn't put his foot on the ground. Michael, if you don't need a dictionary to know what strength is, the moment you see Michael, you know this is strength. This, this is strength. This is the metaphor called strength. So in terms of warfare, he's designed as a warring prince. You will notice that Angel Gabriel was put in the prison that was built by angelic princes. Huh? Because Gabriel is not a warrior type angel. Gabriel is in the department of information. Those angels that give you dreams in the night and then you wake up and say, ah, it's, 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 they, they come from that realm. They communicate in, in, in language that is spirit, words that are spirit and words that infuse life. So, as powerful as Gabriel was, he was imprisoned by a prince. And Michael had to be released to come fight with him to release him from bondage. So Michael is used to fighting. But you see, the issue here is, is an issue of authority, not of strength. Even though Michael was stronger, but if he uses his strength, he'll be using it illegitimately, and that is going to confiscate him, will confine him for a long time. He would have wandered out of his estate, and even the covering of God would not have kept him. So he was in a tight situation. How did he bail himself out? He said, what? The Lord rebuked him. All right, guys. So we have come to the end of this video. Okay. I know you have learned a lot. I want to know your thoughts in the comment section. What are the things you intend to start doing now by reason of this video you just watched? You heard the story of how him and his friend were always praying for two, three hours after church. All right. They would meet, they would engage God, they loved God, and they had this zeal. Okay. But he said while he was praying, he was trusting God for divine direction. He doesn't know what the other person was praying for. All right. So it was after 10 years he realized that his friend, okay, didn't know or his friend did not get any direction from God. So there are many times God might give you direction and it looks like it, 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 doesn't, sound, it doesn't sound reasonable. It sounds like a waste of time. I can assure you it is in your best of interest to stay in the will of God for your life. Don't be in a hurry to prove anything to anyone, all right? When God's time arrives, He by Himself is going to lift you. Him by Himself is going to announce you, all right? So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll bring you more videos by Apostle Aaron Monsai that will enrich your spirit and bless your life. So see you in our next video.